All right, let's do some mathy math. It says here, complete the square to make a perfect square quadratic. All right, this is a foundational skill that you'll use later when you try to solve quadratics and find the x-intercepts, and the method is called completing the square. So this is just the first step of that method. Uh, like I say, it's a foundational skill. Uh, what we're going to work off here is you need to take your b value, divided by 2, and square it. Okay? By adding this segment right here, you will create a perfect square quadratic, and then you will be able to complete the square. If you want to see what that looks like in a visual diagram, go check out the previous video. Uh, I diagram out where this whole thing comes from and why it works. So you can go watch that video if you're really curious about how we complete the squares. But for now, let's just focus on taking our b value divided by 2 and squaring it. So looking at this, my b value is 2 over 3. So if you just filled this in, you would get 2 over 3 divided by 2 squared. Now looking at this, this might uh, kind of scare you because you got a fraction inside of a fraction, and I totally get it. But we can kind of break this down horizontally and, and see it a little different. So let's draw like a little little sidebar here. 2 divided by 3, I'm sorry, 2 over 3 divided by 2, well, that's actually the exact same thing as saying 2 divided by 3 multiplied by the reciprocal, and the reciprocal is 1 half, right? Because this is like 2 over 1, and you flip it, it's 1 over half. So now we just multiply fractions, top, top, 2 times 1 is 2, bottom, bottom, 3 times 2 is 6, or we say numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Regardless, we get 2 over 6, which is the same as 1 over 3. So let's bring this whole idea back up here. What we actually have here is 1 over 3 squared. Okay, so to, uh, to square this, uh, essentially it's just saying 1 over 3 times 1 over 3. So this is the same as 1 over 3 multiplied by 1 over 3. And again, numerator times numerator, that's 1. And denominator times denominator, that's 9. And just like that, you have filled in b over 2 squared to make your perfect square quadratic. All right, as always, please feel free to subscribe if you want to be notified when I make more amazing math videos just for you. And if you have any questions or comments or anything you want to let me know, please comment below. All right, thank you. Bye.